Good morning, brothers and sisters of Calvary International Church. As most of you, I'm sure, are aware, our state government has reverted the entire state to the red phase as it regards COVID protocols. You also, I hope, are aware that we had planned to start Sunday school again this coming Sunday. And I want to let you know that after a lot of prayer and wrestling with the issue and consideration from all sides, the deacons, the leadership, have decided to postpone the reopening of Sunday school for two weeks. The reasons for this, first of all, are that we are now required to meet a 30% capacity limitation in all of our rooms, and we would need to reconfigure significantly certain Sunday school classes in order to meet that requirement. So space is one consideration. Another consideration has to do with the impression that we're giving and the message that we're sending. At a time when the government is retracting, we would be expanding. And while we have the freedom to do that, I want to stress that clearly. The governor signed on Monday a decree giving churches uh, essential service status during the pandemic. So we have that freedom. I want to be very clear about that. We will continue to meet for our morning services, but please, brothers and sisters, please sign up. As I noted, we are limited to a 30% uh, capacity, so it's extremely important that you sign up. And if you don't sign up, when you arrive, there may not be room for you in the services. One more detail. We will also go back for the following two weeks to our 9 a.m. service time and our 11 a.m. service time. I know this is confusing. I understand that. But we feel that is the best way that we can continue to minister to the concerns of everyone involved from the worship team to those who attend to those who need to clean the sanctuary between the services. So for the next two Sundays, March 7th and March 14th, we will have two services, one at 9, one at 11, with no Sunday school in between. As we postpone Sunday school reopening for two weeks, we'll be keeping a close eye on the legal, social, and political climate as it involves these limitations. Our hope and desire is that the red phase would be lifted by the 21st and we would be able to return to Sunday school as we had originally planned. However, even if it's not, if things remain as they are and the dust has settled somewhat, we will open with a revised plan at 30% capacity. Brothers and sisters, thank you for your patience. This is not only a call for patience, it's also a call for love. Uh, we have differing opinions. We have differing perspectives on how we should best proceed as a church. And it's a testament to the gospel that we can remain unified even with different opinions. So I ask you to maintain an attitude of charity toward your brothers and sisters who think differently than you do on this subject so that we can maintain the unity of the body in the peace of Jesus Christ. God bless you this day, and may he continue to protect all of us spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically.